All right, so there are two classes of wireless headsets. You have your decked wireless headsets that are typically found in an office type setting that runs on a special radio frequency that is not Bluetooth. Then you have your Bluetooth headsets, which are typically used from when you're working from home, on the go, and in some office settings. Yealink just released the new WH-64, which is the world's first headset that's combined both the decked and Bluetooth wireless technology into one headset. Now, decked headsets in general have a couple advantages over Bluetooth in that they have longer wireless range, typically about two to four times more wireless range than Bluetooth. Whereas Bluetooth headsets typically have better sounding audio quality for listening to music, longer battery life, and also you're able to connect the Bluetooth headset to your computers and laptops, as well as your smartphones, whereas decked headsets cannot connect directly to your smartphone. So why would Yealink combine these two technologies into one headset? Well, the short answer is so that it can have the best of both worlds. The headset uses decked when connecting to the charging base, which plugs into your computers and desk phones. This is typically used in your primary office location. With decked, you'll be able to roam around your home or office freely up to three or 400 feet away from your computer or desk phone. You can grab a cup of coffee, talk to some colleagues, or even do chores around the house, all without missing a call or not participating in a video meeting. Then the WH-64 has Bluetooth built into the headset, so you're easily able to pair it up to a Bluetooth-enabled device like a smartphone or laptop so you can take the headset with you on the go. Since most of us are using our smartphones for many hours a day, it's really convenient to be able to use one high-powered headset to be able to use it on our smartphones for typical music, watching YouTube, or even taking phone calls. Connecting the Yealink WH-64 to your computer and desk phone is super easy. You use the two included USB cables, plug it directly into a USB-enabled desk phone like a Poly or Yealink phone, and the other cable directly into your computer. Now you can also get an additional accessory in order to connect to older desk phones that are analog like your Cisco, Avaya, Mitel type phones. There are three touch sensitive buttons on the charging base. You have your desk phone icon and computer icon, which when you use them will allow you to switch between your desk phone and computer. And the third button is your Microsoft Teams button, which will launch your Microsoft Teams application. And pairing to a Bluetooth device is super simple. You'll press the power button down towards the Bluetooth icon for about three to five seconds until the light on the headset starts to flash. That will put it into pairing mode, then go to your Bluetooth settings on your smartphone and select the Yealink WH-64. Once it's connected, it will allow you to connect one headset to all three of those devices, your desk phone, computer, and smartphone. Now it doesn't have to be all three, you can do a combination of each. Switching audio like music from your, prioritize the audio on whatever one you start with. So let's say your smartphone, and then you hit pause, and then you'll go ahead and it'll take about five seconds for it to switch the audio to your computer. But you can take phone calls from all three devices. Bluetooth headsets in general have a hard time switching between computer and smartphone audio just because it doesn't know which one to prioritize all the time. And in my experience with the WH-64, I did have a couple of issues of it not wanting to switch the audio back to the smartphone or the Bluetooth staying connected. So I had to power off the headset and turn it back on in order to reset it. But overall, I had a very seamless experience and pretty normal, all things considered. You can also buy an additional USB adapter to utilize decked wireless technology on your laptop on the go while still taking advantage of Bluetooth to your smartphone. In the box, you have the headset, charging base, two USB cables, power adapter, a drawstring bag for when you take the headset on the go, and also a quick start guide. There are six buttons located on the headset. You have your power on, off, and pairing button, your volume up, volume down, Microsoft Teams button, your call control, and mute. 
There are two LED lights on both sides of the speakers and they'll light up red when you're busy on a phone call to let other people know around you that you're busy on a phone call and not to be disrupted. And you can even get an additional accessory busy light that you can put at a specific location that lets people more easily know you're busy. There's also a USB-C port at the bottom of the headset, which is what allows you to recharge the headset when you take it with you on the go, so you don't always need to use the charging stand in order to recharge the headset. And what's even more interesting is that you can plug in the USB cable into the computer and you can actually use the headset as a full wired headset even if the battery was dead. The WH-64 is the upgraded latest version of the WH-62. It's new and improved, and there's four versions you can choose from. You have the single speaker or dual speaker option. Then you can choose either UC or Microsoft Teams version. For a detailed breakdown of UC versus Microsoft Teams version, check out this video up here. But the quick version is if your company utilizes Microsoft Teams as your primary communication tool for video meetings and phone calls, then just get the Microsoft Teams version as it will allow you to out of the box, be optimized to work on Microsoft Teams so you can press a button on the headset to answer or end calls while away from the desk. Otherwise, use the UC version. When connecting to a computer or laptop, it's optimized to work on the leading phone system manufacturers like Avaya, Zoom, 3CX, Genesis, and much more. So wirelessly, you'll be able to press a button on the headset to answer and calls, mute or unmute your microphone, have those busy lights I mentioned earlier, and more. I highly recommend you download the Yealink USB Connect software as that is what allows those advanced features to work. In addition, you can keep the headset firmware up to date so it's working at its peak performance. In addition, on the app, you're able to adjust a lot of the headset settings so you can change the wireless distance range. You can also uh, change the side tone settings from low to high and even change the ringtone depending upon which device is ringing. And speaking of ringing, there is also a speaker located in the charging base that allows the headset to ring through the charging base. So even if you're not wearing the headset, you can hear your phone ringing. The headset weighs about three or five ounces depending upon which headset you're wearing. And that makes it lighter than most of the other wireless headsets on the market. There's a super soft, leatherette ear cushions that feel like they're almost filled with air. They're super soft and plushy, as well as there's an adjustable headband. At the top of the headband, there's also a soft cushion making for a customized and soft fit. Now, comfort is subjective, but in my experience, I found the headset to be quite comfortable. After about four or five hours, I started to feel pressure on my ears, but I was able to bend the headband out to reduce that pressure and making it more comfortable. So for people that need to use a headset all day, this is going to fit the bill for people who need all day comfort in my experience. I do like that the speakers can rotate 180 degrees so you can lay the headset flat on a desk or flat around your neck. In addition, the microphone boom can rotate 260 degrees so you can wear the microphone boom on the right side or left side of your face, which is convenient. And I do like that there's the lift to mute functionality, which is very handy when you're in a long video meeting, you can just raise your microphone up to mute and lower it down when you wanna speak. What's interesting about the battery life is when you're utilizing the decked wireless technology, which is connecting to the charging base, connecting to your computer or desk phone, you're gonna get about 14 hours of battery life. Whereas if you're connected to your Bluetooth enabled device, like your smartphone, you're gonna get up to about 30 hours of talk time. So you have almost double the amount of talk time. One of the most important features of a wireless headset is the noise canceling microphone. The Yealink WH-64 has three microphones built into the headset and it uses an audio processor. They are labeling Yealink Acoustic Shield Technology 2.0. So have a listen to how well the microphone performs for yourself. All right, this is what the WH-64 sounds like in a quiet environment. All right, now this is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the WH-64. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. 
And this is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background. And this is what it sounds like with a roaring blender going on. You can try Neep noise canceling software for free. Just go to neep.com and try it for yourself. What did you think of the microphone performance of the WH-64? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. In regards to the speaker performance of the WH-64, it's not gonna be like your Sony XM5s or headphones for audio files. The volume gets pretty loud, but it's not gonna have that thumping bass and that deep, rich sound to it. Bottom line is music sounds okay, but phone calls, video meetings, podcasts sound pretty good. Now with all these decked and Bluetooth features built into this headset, you're probably thinking that it's pretty expensive. However, Yealink is on a mission to make high quality products at very low competitive price. And the price of the WH-64 is under $200, which makes it the lowest price option on the market compared to the Plantronics or Poly and Jabra headsets with similar features. If you're interested in purchasing the WH-64, go to our website, headsetadvisor.com forward slash WH-64, and make sure you use coupon code YouTube to get the deepest discount. And if you're looking to deploy over 10 headsets for your team, we do have demo units available so you can try it before you buy it. Just reach out to one of our advisors, call, email, or live chat, and one of our advisors can help you out. Overall, Yealink did a great job with the WH-64 being the world's first headset that's gonna combine decked and Bluetooth into the headset to give you a lot more flexibility and versatility. Plus the price point is under $200, making it extremely competitively priced. So definitely one that I'd recommend. If you wanna learn more about that Neep noise canceling software, you can check out the full review video we did up here, compare it against all sorts of noises and shows you what it's all about. Check that out. Other than that, that's all I got for you on this video. Thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next one.